Hello everyone, I am Jai Bharati from E. Rhodes Indian Web Engineering College. Today I am going to discuss about the topic DAL 2 in Industry Instrumentation 2. Let's see about the introduction of DAL 2 flow meter. It is a modified version of Venturi group. It produces large differential pressure with low pressure loss than the conventional Venturi group. So, uh, it is similar to Venturi group, but here slight modification is done in the Venturi group. So, that is the major difference between the um, Venturi group and the Dahl group. And this is the schematic view of Dahl group. Here, as like Venturi and Orifice, it is connected in between the pipeline whose fluid flow rate can be measured. This tube consists of an inlet section and the outlet section. And uh, here we mention it is here I. This is inlet and it is mentioned as an upstream side and this is outlet section and it is measured as a sorry it is mentioned as a downstream section. As like Venturi tube, it consists of three sections. One is converging sections and throat sections and diverging sections. So, in converging sections, the uh, liquid uh, flows, uh, its diameter is reduced in the pipeline. In throat section, the reduced diameter is maintained and in diverging section, the reduced uh, diameter again come back to the original diameter's radius of the pipeline. So here in converging section the pressure is high and uh, in throat section the pressure is low. Here it consists of in construction of dark tube it consists of two tappings. One is high pressure tapping and this one is the high pressure tapping and this one is the low pressure tapping. And the inlet section and outlet section it can be splitted by uh, annular split which is used to measure the low pressure in the cross section. The short straight inlet followed by an abrupt decrease in diameter. A narrow annular slit present in cross section which separates the short inlet and the diverging outlet. So this is the narrow annular split. And this is this is the flow direction, and this is downstream recovery section, and these are the two tappings. This is the view of a schematic doll tube diagram, and uh, this is the construction and working. Let's see about construction and working. It consists of a flanged pole piece body with a stretched straight inlet section, terminating in an abrupt decrease in diameter, followed by a conical restriction and a diverting outlet separated by a narrow annular gap. So I have already insisted that using the diagram I explain these points. So next point is the high pressure tap is a hole drilled through the body tangent to the inlet shoulder. Where it is present? It is present at the point of inlet side. So high pressure tapping is present at the inlet shoulder and the low pressure tapping is drilled through the body so as to connect with an annular slot in the throat. So, low pressure side uh, tapping is drilled through throat section. This is low pressure tap and this is drilled through throat section. And high pressure tap is inserted in the inlet shoulder itself. The inlet shoulder immediately preceding the restriction has little effect on permanent per pressure loss. The outlet cone causes a decrease in flow velocity that provides an increase in pressure recovery. It is not suitable for measuring the flow of fluids containing solids which could settle out. So, not suitable for uh, slurry fluids because it can settle in the doll tube flowmeters. The doll tube is used for. So, what are the applications used means? We can measure the flow rate of water and sewage system and air or gas system and a steam flow measurement. So these are the applications of Dahl tube flow meters. 
And what is the material used to make? Manufacture the doll tube is material used is gun metal. In some other case, they will use cast iron. Where this cast iron is used means uh, for, for 450 mm larger sizes, uh, we need high grade uh, cast iron is uh, used to manufacture the doll tube flow meter. So, for 450 mm means uh, for a high flow rate measurement or uh, the diameter of the pipeline is high. So, we need to manufacture cast, uh, sorry, we need to manufacture doll tube using the cast iron. For small applications in small pipelines, we can use the gun metal. When it is required to protect the tube from corrosion, it may be lip coat line. So, uh, if uh, if the fluids or uh, in chemical substances contain some chemical substances and the chemical substances prolonged and long for long durations it is flowing in the pipeline means it may be affected by the corrosion so due to corrosion the doll tube may be damaged and we need to replace within smaller span of time to avoid this uh, disadvantage we are using a, a lithium coat line which is a material coated inside the doll tube to protect the tube from the corrosion. The next is the differential pressure produced by doll tube is much higher. So compared to other orifice, sorry, orifice or uh, venturi meter, the differential pressure produced in doll tube is higher, nearly doubled to that of the venturi meter, having the same upstream and throat diameter. It causes a very low pressure. It causes very low pressure loss mm -hmm. compared to other differential pressure flow elements. Up to 95% differential pressure can be recovered. So where it is recovered means at the uh, diverging section, the pressure recovery can take place. And here in this flow meter, 95% the pressure can be recovered using the doll tube flow meters. So, these next slide is advantages and disadvantages of doll tube. What are the advantages? We can see advantages low head loss, short lying length. It is available in numerous materials of constructions. We have seen that two materials in this slide that is gun metal and cast iron. So, that numerous materials of construction is used to manufacture the doll tube it is one of the advantage and short lying length means the venture tube and orifice are uh, long in length but whereas the doll tube it is short lying length the length of the meter is very short so that is some an advantage and low head loss means head loss means it is pressure loss so differential pressure recovery is high so their pressure loss is minimum in this doll tube and the last is erosions are negligible using the coating that is lip coat material we are using to coat and to avoid the erosion and corrosion of doll tube here the disadvantages are pressure difference is sensitive to upstream disturbances not considered for measuring flow of hot feed water Doll tube is designed for clean fluids. It is not appropriate for fluid having suspended solid particles. So only clean fluids can be measured using the doll tube. So solid particles will settle down in the doll tube construction. So we cannot use this flow meters for uh, measuring solid particle flow rate. Only it is used for clean fluids flow rate measurements. And hard feed water flow cannot be measured. So these are the advantages and disadvantages. And next, we can see about the applications. So applications mean applicable to where a significant pressure drop is not tolerated. Example, gas transmission pipeline. It is applicable where a significant pressure drop is not tolerated. So significant pressure drop wherever we cannot tolerate so that applications we can use this doll tube. Example, gas transmission pipeline. I'm sorry, examples from this form. And the next is flow measurement in 
circular tubes. So wherever circular tubes are connected, you can use for flow measurement. So this is the applications. And thanks for watching this. Thank you.